Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have confidence in yourself, you have respect for those around you. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. Congratulations to the Arts and Humanities Leader of the Month for Habit 5. Third grade, Jaden Holtkamp. Fourth grade, Lanny Blankenship. Fifth grade, Drew Fickus. Congratulations to these students. is seek first to understand, then to be understood. Miss Emily and I have chosen Zoe Newton as our leader of the month. Zoe always listens first and then asks questions if she doesn't understand. She is a good friend to others. She always does her work and she always does it her best. Zoe, we are so proud of you. Keep up the good work. Congratulations, Miss Emily and Miss Baker. Ms. Amy and I have chosen Sydney Surratt as our leader of the month this month. Sydney is always seeking first to understand. She understands how important schoolwork is. She understands how important it is to be a great friend. She is a great student and we are so, so proud of her. So we are so excited to announce Ms. Sydney Surratt as our leader of the month. Congratulations, sweet girl. Mrs. Estes, his class has chosen Callie Nelson as our classroom's leader of the month. Callie is a wonderful asset to our classroom. Her habit of seek first to understand, then be understood, helps her to be successful every day. She's always striving to listen to others before she speaks without interrupting, raising her hand when she wants to speak, and waiting patiently to be called on and not blurting out. When we talk to Callie, she makes eye contact and looks at us. Callie pays attention to us and shows all of us respect. Callie contributes daily to our classroom's mission to be a leader and strives to be a model citizen for her classmates. Callie, we're so proud of you. We love you, Miss Estes and Miss Michelle. Hello. The habit um, for this month is seek first to understand, then to be understood. And Miss April and I knew that we had one friend who is a pro at making sure that we understand him and that he understands what he needs to know. And that is Colby Hopwood. And Colby, we're so proud of you. We're lucky to be your teachers. We love you and congratulations on being the student of the month. My leader of the month for habit number five, seek first to understand, then to be understood, is a girl. This girl always listens before she talks. She is always open to others' ideas and thoughts in our classroom. She's also super confident in voicing her own ideas and thoughts, and I am so proud of all that she is doing. Congratulations, Ellie Moore. Hey guys, we have been working on habit number five, seek first to understand, then to be understood. I'm proud to announce that my leader of the month is a girl. This girl works so hard each and every day in and out of the classroom. She worked very hard to meet her AR goal and she always listens without interrupting. She listens before she talks, and she's always open to others' ideas and feelings. She is a true example of listening with your eyes, your ears, and your heart. I am proud of you, Kaylee Wilson. I'm so proud to announce you're my leader of the month and thank you for making our classroom a happy, brighter place with your love for others, your hard work, and your sweet smile. I love you bunches. Seek first to understand and then to be understood is all about listening to others, 
and considering the feelings and views of those around us. It's about being kind and observing emotion and being eager to lend a quiet ear when another person is vulnerable. One boy in my class really stands out in this area. He is extremely empathetic, pays attention to others, and comforts his friends when they are feeling sad. He is always the first to listen to a friend sitting alone at recess and get to know a new student class. I am so proud of your generous heart and your selfless attitude, Corbin. Hey, it's Miss Will Harbor. I'm here to celebrate our new leader of the month for Habit 5. Habit 5 is to seek to understand, then to be understood. So really to listen. Listening's the goal here for us um, before you talk. And the student I've picked it's a girl. She has worked so hard. I'm so proud of her. She's really, really wanted leader of the month and she has worked hard in her reading, her phonics. She is listening and she has improved so much. She loves school. As far as with her classmates, she's good to listen and find solutions rather than tattle or argue. Um, I'm just so proud of her. And I can tell she loves school, she loves being here, and she's just blossoming. And it's such a joy to be able to see. Um, and Olivia Davidson, congratulations on being our leader of the month for Habit 5. I can't wait to see all the wonderful things that you're gonna do. Miss Wilharbor loves you very much. Good afternoon, <clears throat> Miss Bray here. I would like to just to announce our leader of the month for um, our habit, seek first to understand, then to be understood. Um, last week, my kiddos uh, had the opportunity to select someone and to then give a reason why that they would select this person to be our leader of the month. And they, pretty much everyone who voted last week voted for this particular young man um, for always <clears throat> listening, um, not interrupting, listening to others' ideas before sharing his own ideas. So, we would like to announce that Wesley Waddell is our leader of the month for Seek First to Understand, Then to be Understood. Wesley, we are super proud of you. We're so glad that you're at BCES with us. You keep doing what you're doing. You're doing great. I can't wait to see what the future holds. Thank you so much for being a blessing to our classroom. We love you and congratulations. Hey, um, I am here to announce my leader of the month. So my leader of the month for this month is Aubrey Morrow. Um, when I think about seeking first to understand, she automatically comes to mind. Aubrey never interrupts myself or her peers, but lets them speak first before responding. She always has a smile on her face and is so, so sweet to everyone in our class. Aubrey always puts forth, forth her best effort, even when she is asked to redo her work. I'm so, so proud of you, Aubrey. Keep being you. Hi, guys. It is the end of March, and it's time for me to choose my leader of the month. This month, our habit was Habit 5, uh, Seek First to Understand, Then to Be Understood. So I was really looking for somebody who stopped and listened and tried to understand what somebody was saying to them. If it was a classmate, we stop and understand what the classmate wants to tell us. If it's the teacher, we stop and make sure we listen to all of the directions before we begin our work. This person has done this, and I've noticed this person also using some other habits. This person is proactive. This person has things ready to go before I even give instructions. I don't have to tell this person to get things together and to get busy. This person begins with the end in mind. He knows what it is he wants to accomplish and he sets out to do it. 
He puts first things first. He even thinks outside the box. I have seen him solving some problems in some creative ways so he can think win-win. This person was actually nominated by a classmate, reminding me that this person has gotten two bombs. He was called smart by his classmates, and he is one who is recognized as getting their work done. Calvin Dameron, I am very, very proud of the effort you have put in improving your work. I have seen it in your grades and I've seen it in your attitude and I think you are just marvelous. Keep up the good work. I'd love to see how much further you can get yourself to go. Hey everybody. I just want to say congratulations to my leader of the month, Pearl Frazier. She's always so calm and understanding to others. She thinks before she speaks and always listens to others also. Thank you, Pearl, for being a great leader. Congratulations. Hey, everybody. This is Miss Hopper, and I am here to announce our leader of the month. Lillian Harper has been chosen as our leader of the month for showing characteristics of Habit 5, Seek First to Understand, Then to be Understood, along with other habits. Many classmates have noticed Lillian's leadership behaviors. One student said, She does not interrupt when someone is talking. This shows that she is interested in others' ideas and is respectful. She always gives the speaker eye contact to show them she cares about what they have to say. I am so proud to see Lillian becoming more confident in voicing her thoughts during whole group discussions. Lillian's peers describe her as being very kind hard worker who stays on task and follows the rules. We are all so proud of you. You are an important part of our class. Congratulations, Lillian. When I think of Leader of the Month, I had my students vote and they picked a girl. So in the comments they said were, she is respectful, she seeks first to understand then to be understood, and she's good friend. She always giving and kind and willing to help anyone. She should be leading the month because she does not interrupt and she does not accuse people, and she's always willing to listen to me. Um, I think she should be leading the month because when I talk to her, she listens and responds and is a respectful leader of our classroom. Um, I think she should be leader of the month because um, she's always thinking of the glass is half full. Um, so congratulations to Kaylee Buchanan. She is our leader of the month. My leader of the month is Miss Olivia Habeck. And Olivia is a sweet, sweet soul who we have gained this year at Ballard County Elementary. Um, I chose Miss Olivia as my leader of the month because she has been on fire this month. She has done a great job of providing detailed explanations of her answer choices in class. She also is able to provide assistance to her friends. Olivia has received two bombs this month for being smarter than the teacher. And so that is super awesome that she is able to grow and explain the way that she does. I'm so very proud of her and her hard work this year, and she has been a great, great addition to Ballard County. Congratulations, Olivia. This is Mr. Singleton, and my leader of the month for Habit 5, Seek First to Understand, to be understood, is Bryson Kerr. Um, this habit is about listening, doing what the teacher says, when the teacher says it. It's about being a good classmate, listening to your classmates, and being a good friend. And Bryson checks all these boxes. Uh, I've really enjoyed having him this year. He's a great kid. And um, 
I'm going to miss having him when he moves, I'm going to miss him when he moves on to fourth grade. First to understand and be understood. Um, Ms. Kimbrough's homeroom selected a girl to be our leader for this month. Um, some of the classmates said that she listens to others' ideas and feelings. She never talks over others or never talks when the teacher's talking. They said that she expresses her own feelings and is kind when others express theirs. Congratulations, Emma Beardall. You are our leader of the month. My leader of the month for Habit 5 is Mackenzie Meyer. She is always asking questions. She is always seeking to understand. Good job, Mackenzie. I could not be more excited to announce for Ms. Nichols class our fourth grade student of the month for habit number five, seek first to understand, then to be understood. This is a student that has truly found her voice this year and has really started developing. Not only um, she loves to speak out in class, but she always takes the time to listen to what other students say before she shares. She raises her hand before she speaks all the time. She works very well with her accountability partner when they meet on Wednesdays. And she also is doing just a fabulous job in math class. She works hard every single day and she has come so far this year. I am so excited to announce Allie Bondrant as our student of the month. Allie, keep up the great work. You are rocking it, girl. All right, I'd like to talk about the leader of the month from my home room. Um, this month's habit is seek first to understand then to be understood, which is a challenging habit for fifth graders to uh, follow and to be a part of. And so I looked up some of the qualities that kind of explain that a little bit better. And some of the things that I think explain it a little bit better are uh, some of these qualities. And I need to pick up my paper so I can read them. Um, I listen to other people's thoughts and feelings. I try to see things from other people's viewpoints. Um, I look people in the eyes when they are speaking. I patiently wait to be called upon. I raise my hand and patiently wait to be called upon. I listen to others' viewpoints without interrupting. And those kind of exemplify um, one student in particular. There's probably others that I could come up with, but one student's name kind of kept coming to my mind. And I think that this young lady in my homeroom really um, will grow in this skill a lot as she um, matures and heads over to the middle school. And she really does a very good job if I ever have to talk with her about some of her work, um, really listens well. And when she goes back to her desk, I can see that she has heard what I've had to say to her. And it shows in the work that she um, resubmits. She has listened and she has understood and didn't get frustrated and mad uh, because I've asked her to do something different. So I'm very proud of you, Andy Bodell, for developing your skill of listening and seeking first to understand. I think you're going to be great at this skill and a strong member of all of the classes you're always in. Congratulations. This month is habit five. Seek first to understand, then be understood. This student does a wonderful job of active listening to get all of the directions and then asks questions if she doesn't understand. This means that she always knows what to do and when and how to do it. She also does a great job of listening to her friends to make sure that she understands how they feel and what they are thinking. She is often quiet, which allows her to be listening at all times to get all of the information. She is a great leader every day in our classroom for all the habits. But this month, our leader of the month is Keely Shepard. Way to go, Keely. My leader of the month for April is Miss Katie Allen. The habit for this month is seek first to understand, then to be understood. Katie exhibits all these qualities by her daily listening habits in class. When she doesn't understand something, she communicates that to her teacher and listens to what she is told.
She continually works hard in class and is a model student to all those around her. Her eyes are always on the speaker and she listens closely to all instructions. Congratulations, Miss Katie Allen. I'm very excited to announce my leader of the month for March, Seek First to Understand Then to Be Understood. This was a student that I could have picked the first month of school because he's always a leader. He does all of his work, he's a friend to everyone, and he always has a smile on his face. Not only that, particular to the habit for the month, he always listens for all the directions, waits, makes sure that he understands how to do the work, and then completes the work in a timely manner. He also asks questions if he has any questions about the work, and is just an overall super good student. So I'm super excited to announce that Mr. Kylan O'Neill is my leader of the month. Congratulations, sweetie. <laughs>